Hey guys, what's up? It's Jonathan with One Big Impact. So, welcome, and today is actually going to be one full week of Atkins so that you understand it better. Hopefully, you guys can see me, I can see you. I know my background, it's just whatever today, but I wanted to get this to you guys because I think it's super, super important. A lot of the times people are like, I don't know how to do Atkins, I don't really know what's going on. Should I follow their meal plan? Should I follow you know, your meal plan? Should I do something else? Whatever, sh what should I do? So I'm here to clear that up real quick. Let's get started. Okay, so right off the bat, and I'm just being completely real with you, completely honest, if you're going to be buying the Atkins meals, prepare to empty your pocketbook a little bit. And I'm not trying to say that in a negative way. Hey man, if I had unlimited amounts of money, this would be the way to go because, well, it's just easier. You know what I mean? You don't have to meal prep. It's kind of the lazy way through things. Do I personally recommend it as far as like Whole Foods and stuff like that? No, not really. Of course not. You know, you, they got these figured out on net carbs and everything. I do have back here where you can't see some Whole Foods. But this is going to be an Atkins meal prep straight off of their website. This is not my meal plan, obviously, because these are not my meals. <laughs> but I think it's important that you get a good basis of understanding exactly what you're doing. Oh my gosh, what the hell's on my shirt? Huge shout out, by the way, to Matthew Clemens from our Facebook family, uh, Healthy Living for a Healthy Life. He is the owner of Fort Worth Arborist Company out in Fort Worth, Texas. They do tons of just the spectrum of things that they do for like landscaping and trees and trimming and stuff like that is beyond my spectrum of understanding, that's for sure. But he's got tons of knowledge in the field, definitely the top of their company, uh, the top of their game. I just wanted to say thank you to him for giving the opportunity to transport the truck. Also, the opportunity to be able to uh, go over there and bring the Hurricane Humphrey victims all of the supplies. He wanted to let you guys know, and myself, I wanted to let you know that, uh, that all that stuff was dropped off today at the transport center, and it will be delivered to the evacuees uh, immediately, So, which is really cool. Good job, Matthew. Uh, good job, everybody that was involved. Um, also, I wanted to say thank you, Sherry. I got your letter yesterday. I appreciate it. Thank you, Keith, for the tripod. I'm not even sure what to do with that thing because it looks too damn nice. <laughs> but you were really right um, about that. So let's get started. Let's let's stop chatting it up. Uh, first, I wanted to say if you're going to be doing Tupperwares, which I do recommend, um, Rubbermaid takeaways for four of these suckers. They don't leak and they're two bucks. You get like two packs of these you can make it through a week guys now next uh, you're going to realize the big shock about this whole thing now it may not be a lot of money for you you know if you make 60 70 grand a year maybe this isn't a lot of money for you I literally broke the bank buying this this is one week off of the standard or the quick meal plan off of Atkins.com and I'll put the links in the description below. Obviously, you just got to type in Atkins.com. It's no big deal. But I will say it was $91.90 for one week. It's not cheap. But nine times four, what is that? 27. So 20, wait, is that 27? No, that's 360, 36. Oh my gosh, 18 and 18, 36. So, so if you were to eat this all month long, super easy. You only have to prep like part of one meal and a couple of small things, um, which would take you like 15 minutes. Uh, it would be 360 bucks a month, which really isn't horrible um, because you're also losing weight at the same time. You could probably even reduce it a little bit more by um, getting coupons and stuff like that. Go on their website, they'll send you off some coupons. It's really easy. But I wanna run through this real quick with you guys as quickly as possible. The Whole Foods are going to be towards the end of the day. So for breakfast, you're going to be eating one of these Atkins scrambles. I ate a lot of these when I first started Atkins. 
they're a bomb. They're good, they're not bad at all. Portion size, you're gonna realize real quick how much you've probably been overeating. When you eat this, you're like scooping at the bottom like, where, where's the rest of it? Where's the rest of it? No, that's all. That's, that's, that's why we got overweight because we're eating too damn much. The next thing uh, that you're going to be eating is uh, you're gonna have this for dinner and for lunch, this is the uh, chicken broccoli Alfredo and I'll put this list in the description below. Um, for dinner, you're going to have that, two and a half cups of baby spinach. I'm throwing that down there because they're in my way. It's gonna be a half of a Haas avocado and two tablespoons of dressing. Pretty much dressing of your choice. I know a lot of people are about those Walden Farms and stuff like that. Dude, check it out. Stay away from them because you actually need those couple carbs and that fat and the stuff that's in the dressing, I'm telling you, okay? I get it, you, you think it's great, but honestly, you're gonna get artificial sweeteners and stuff that are in those that you're not going to wanna play with. This guy is gonna be your other one of your snacks. This is gonna be the Atkins Strawberry Shake. Don't grab the chocolate one because it's got two carbs. This has got one carb. It's specific that you're actually paying attention to that, you guys. Your other snack is going to be the chocolate nougat bar, which is like two grams of carbs. I'm scared shitless because I have two boxes of these sitting in my house. And a lot of the times when I have two boxes of those sitting around, I eat two boxes of those and that's horrible. I'm not gonna do that this week. Um, so next is going to be your, whoa, your lunch is going to be a five ounce or six ounce, just a regular sized piece of salmon. And, oh, sorry, you're gonna get a, a half a cup of chopped up cucumbers with your dinner. Next is going to be with your lunch with the salmon, is going to be asparagus, six stalks, you guys. Let me come over there. Make sure you understand me. Six, not 10, not 12, not 15, not two, six, nothing more. I know asparagus is good, but you don't need to be eating it too much. Plus, so let me run through that again real quick so you understand and then I'll talk about a few things. Breakfast, Atkins Farmhouse Scramble, your snack, one of these. Your lunch is a piece of salmon, a, a, a cooked salmon, and six asparagus. Your next snack is gonna be a shake. Your dinner is going to be the chicken broccoli, along with two and a half cups of salad or I'm sorry, not salad, baby spinach, a half a Haas avocado, two tablespoons of dressing, and I'd like to say, bring it down to a quarter cup of these guys, chopped cucumber. Now that's it. That's all you got. That's what you gotta do. It's simple, simple, simple. No meal prep virtually. You're pretty much, like if you were gonna make all those uh, salmon for the week, it's not gonna take you more, you're gonna throw them all in a pan, all seven can go in a good sized pan and you can be done. You know, fry up your uh, asparagus and you're good to go. A Couple things you need to remember, extremely important, if you're drinking coffee, heavy whipped cream. There is a carb count. If you're drinking this, eliminate this. Don't be drinking tons of coffee. You need to cut it off at one. Not five cups, not 10 cups. One damn cup of coffee. That's it, nothing more. One cup of coffee with one tablespoon of this and like a sweet and low or a stevia, a lot of people recommend. You could use like a sugar alcohol, erythritol. I can't say that, oh no, I know, okay. Erythritol, erythritol. Nobody knows how to say that. It's not even a real word. They just made it up. One of the most important things is your water, you guys. I'm gonna put the link in the description below for you to get your reusable water bottle. This thing saved my life in the desert the other day. It was blazing, the AC wasn't working in the freaking truck the whole time. I mean, it, it 
would have, but I didn't want to take the chance of breaking down. <laughs> but the outside of this, blazing hot, you guys. Inside, freezing cold water. Worked amazing. Remember, I'm gonna put the description in the link, the link to the description below. I'm gonna put a link down below for the water bottle, anything else I use, and the tape, uh, Rubbermaid takeaways. Also, I'll put some links to like the Atkins meals and stuff like that. You can pick them up online. You can, give, you can get them shipped to your door. You can get super lazy with it, <laughs> super lazy. I don't fully recommend that, but hey, if you got a busy week, this is a way not to cheat, you know, straight up. Three minutes in the microwave, you guys, these are good to go. Next thing I want you guys to know, I don't give a damn if the pizza is on sale, the Atkins pizza. If you're in induction phase, you're not eating the pizza. You're not. It's like 11, 12 carbs. And especially if you're eating this, you're like, whoa, that was on sale. No, man, you gotta completely readjust your whole day if you do something like that. That is a horrible idea. If it says, if you're shooting for 18 to 22 carbs in a day, you guys, five is what you're allotted for your dinner as far as the meal. Six is what you're allotted for your breakfast. Like, can you switch this six out with another six Atkins meal if you like that better? Sure. But you also need to remember that not all Atkins meal are created equal. Some are six, some are 12, some are 15 net carbs. So definitely keep that in mind. Also, you need to pick up your ketosis sticks, you guys. I'm gonna put that in the link below. A link in the description below. Remember, no coffee creamer, only heavy whipping cream. Keep that in mind. I hope you guys got all the information you need. I want you to drink at least a gallon of water a day. I've lost a total of 150 pounds. If you guys are here, this stuff works. It's not a joke. Low carb approach works. If you don't like this, I create my own meal plans that are between $37 and $40 a week total to eat. I know this isn't for everybody, but hey, if you got the money, it's simple. It really is. But just keep in mind, I have customized meal plans that I charge $25 each for a seven day meal plan. It's customized to exactly what you're able to eat. If you have dietary restrictions, we definitely take that in mind. Also, you guys, I want you to be stronger than your excuses. Hashtag be stronger than your excuses. Remember, I know this sounds silly. I know it does. But if, if you comment below, it helps me, you guys. If you like the video, if you share the video, if you subscribe to my channel, you guys, it helps me, okay? I appreciate all that you guys do, but don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share our videos, you guys. It's really simple. You can do all those things like boom, 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 boom. It's the technology age. It's simple, you guys. If you guys have any questions about what to do as far as like if anything's something that you don't understand, you should be eating every three hours. You shouldn't be eating anything besides this. This should be plenty. If you find yourself ravenously hungry between meals, do yourself a favor. Get like a third of a pound of cheese, a third of a pound of meat, roll them up into little cheese and meat roll-ups, make sure there's no carbs or sugar in them, and eat those to stave off hunger. I don't want you to be eating pork rinds, I don't want you to eat none of that crap. Like these two right here are already pushing it, you guys. I don't want you to do that. If these keep you out of ketosis, stop eating them and change them with whole foods. Keep that in mind, you guys. You guys, I want you guys to have a beautiful day. Like I said before, you are stronger than your excuses. You just have to remember it. Keep up the good work. Have an amazing day. And remember to spread love, not hate. Peace, guys.